Now, courts heard how a serving Metropolitan Police officer put his hands around a woman's neck as he raped her, telling her it would be the last thing she ever saw. Well, sentencing has now begun for David Carrick, who admitted 24 counts of rape, as well as charges of sexual assault, controlling and coercive behaviour and false imprisonment. Uh, Home and Security Editor Mark White has been uh, at those proceedings at Southwark Crown Court and can join us now. Mark, we're being told um, this could be uh, two days of pretty distressing evidence and, and a lot of the victims indicating the impact it's had on them. Yes, it will be a two-day hearing. We are on that first day at the moment detailing really the offences that he has pleaded guilty. Offences against 12 women, uh, women that he met on nights out through dating apps, some that he'd formed coercive and controlling rela relationships with, others who were colleagues at work. Uh, we've been hearing about one of these incidents, all of them very distressing in the detail that is being relayed to the court here in Southwark. Uh, but his first victim in 2003, he'd met in a pub. He told this woman that you couldn't be in safer hands coming home with me as I'm a police officer. Uh, but of course, when he got this woman home, uh, she had uh, in her statement said that she was not interested uh, in him, but uh, that she was prevented from leaving, that he effectively violently assaulted her before then uh, raping her at one point, reaching for what was described as a black handgun that was hidden behind the bed, pointed that to her head and said, you're not going anywhere. Now, the prosecution say they don't contend that that was a real firearm. They simply don't know, but clearly for the victim, an absolutely devastating and terrifying experience. And as I say, Mark, we've been hearing all of the crimes that he has admitted to against all of those 12 victims. It took place over almost two decades while he was indeed a serving Metropolitan Police officer. He joined the Met in 2001. Uh, and at one point then transfer to the Parliamentary and Diplomatic uh, Protection Command, those officers who are armed officers who guard these VIP areas like Parliament, Downing Street, uh, various embassies uh, around London. So I say he has pleaded, of course, guilty to all of those crimes, some 48 offences, including 24 counts of rape uh, and at the end of tomorrow we will know what his sentence will be uh, but it will we know be a very hefty jail term indeed uh, mark thank you very much indeed uh, for updating us there so like indeed uh, uh, tom little kc who's uh, prosecuting saying that humiliation uh, was a theme that ran through uh, indeed one of his victims a, a Met police officer uh, who said that uh, as a serving officer she'd been raped by him in 2004 but uh, couldn't report it because of the culture of the Met at that time. More from Southern Crown Court as it comes through.